Hey, Chef Jason coming at you from the Sunset Produce Test Kitchen up here in Leamington, Ontario. We've got an amazing dish for you right now. This is the kind of dish where you know, you've had a long day at work, you want to come home, you want to put it together really fast, you want to eat healthy, and it's going to be featuring my absolute number one tomato. It's called a Zima tomato. It's a beautiful cherry tomato. It tastes just like candy. They go amazingly in this dish. Right now, very easy to, to make. All we're going to need is mushrooms, Zima tomatoes, and a nice piece of white fish. You can use either actual white fish or you can use halibut. You can also use a piece of Dover sole or a piece of turbot. It'll actually work really well with a piece of salmon as well. What I'm going to do basically is I'm just going to take a bunch of mushrooms here. I'm going to start chopping them down. In this mushroom mix, I've got shiitake mushrooms, king mushrooms. I've got a little bit of uh, portobello in there as well. You can really use whatever you like though. I find these flavors work really well. They're not high in moisture content either, so they cook really fast, which, uh, which is great if you want to get a nice uh, quick meal in and a fresh meal. Sand down a bit of garlic here. Again, this is more of a rustic dish, so we don't have to chop it up real fine. Perfect. Put that off to the side. All right. Now we're going to use our Zima tomatoes. So these are beautiful. Again, they're just like little candy drops. A little hybrid tomato grown in Ontario, Mexico. They're a very unique tomato in the sense that they have the most unique flavor that you'll find. They lend themselves to this dish extremely well. What I like to do is I like to actually have a lot of tomatoes. I'm going to put less mushrooms and more tomatoes in this, uh, in this recipe. They're going to stew together just beautifully. We're going to finish the whole thing with a touch of cream, some fresh herbs, and a bit of shallots. Amazing. What I've got now is I've got some beautiful white fish. This is from Lake Erie. It's basically a very thin layered fish, very flaky on the white side. What we're going to do now is we go into our frying pan. I'm going to start off making the fricassee right here, a little bit of butter in my frying pan, and I'm going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil. Notice i got two frying pans on, so I'm going to do the fish in the frying pan as well. Take that down, I'm going to put a little grapeseed oil in this frying pan as well. The reason why I'm using grapeseed oil, a couple of reasons. One, grapeseed oil doesn't impart any flavor on any cooked dish you have, let like olive oil, which are basically make your dish, when you cook it, a little bitter and tastes like olive oil. And two, grapeseed oil has a great smoke point, which means you can cook it on really high heat until it starts to smoke without it catching on fire, which is great. So as you can see here, in the fricassee, I popped in the garlic, shallots, and red onion, and I put in the mushrooms right now. What I want to do is I want to just cook this down. Mushrooms have a very high water content. So as they go into a frying pan, we're going to omit all of that liquid that's inside there. And what we want to do is reduce that liquid down and take it all out of the, uh, out of the mushroom. I got my frying pan going over here for my white fish. What I want to do is I want to make sure anytime I cook fish, the frying pan that I cook it in is smoking hot. So when I say smoking hot, I actually mean it's smoking a little bit. So my pan's nice and hot over here. I'm going to take my piece of white fish that I've dusted with uh, salt and black pepper. And then I'm going to cook it on this flush side down. It's smoking hot, we're going to put it in the frying pan. Beautiful little sizzle there. And we're going to move it around just a little bit. Make sure it's not stuck to the bottom. And we're going to let that sit there nice and fry up there. The mushrooms are coming down really nice. We're going to deglaze the mushrooms a little bit. So what I've done is we've added a little bit of white wine and a little bit of stock. Taking that down, it's going to impart a beautiful flavor into the stock, so we're going to run it quickly. The fish is coming along nicely. You can hear that sizzle a little way. I'm going to add some fresh herbs to this mix right now. We've got a little bit of chopped parsley and a little bit of chopped basil on here. So that's going right in. The reason why I like to put my herbs in before, as opposed to the end of a dish, uh, is that I like to impart all the flavor into the dishes. So a lot of chefs will cook with their herbs sort of at the end to add that flavor. For me, I believe that, you know, if I cook my, uh, if I cook my herbs in my dish, it's going to impart more flavor into the dish. And that's sort of what I'm looking to do. So what we want to do is, now that we have our mushrooms going, we want to try and draw as much moisture out of the mushrooms when we're sauteing. And this goes for any type of mushroom that you're cooking at any time for any dish. The idea of cooking with mushrooms is once you start cooking them down, they're going to omit a really a large volume of water and moisture. The idea with any dish is to take all the moisture right out of it, to cook the, uh, to cook the water and the liquids right away from it. Okay, we've got our fish here. We're going to drop this in the oven. That's going to take about probably four minutes on about 400 degrees. Now, mushrooms are coming along beautifully here. So what I want to do now is I want to add in my Zima tomatoes. I'm going to slide those right in. Beautiful. This sauce here we're going to cook down a little bit. And it's going to take about five minutes for this sauce to cook down to a nice sauce consistency. And then we're going to be finished and plating up a beautiful dish. Last addition of this uh, fricassee, which is more like a stew, is going to be about 35% cream. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. All right, this is smelling unbelievable. Great. Now, when you're cooking with the with the with the 35% cream into the mushroom fricassee, what we're looking to do is take the 35% cream down, reduce it down until we get a sauce consistency. Just like making a pasta sauce with cream, the exact same principle. Because we've already cooked the mushroom liquid out, the sauce will actually reduce very, very fast. That's how fast this dish is. We're just about ready to eat here. We've got an amazing stew here with our zima tomatoes and mushrooms, fresh herbs, a little bit of cream. Last thing we're going to do this dish, drop a little salt in it. Beautiful. Mix it up. Really nice colors in this dish. Here. Very easy to do. Very fresh tasting dish. Rich but not super heavy. The Zima tomato is going to impart a beautiful, beautiful sweet flavor. Then we get our roasted whitefish out of the oven here. Very nice. We got a beautiful crust on that whitefish. Look at that. Amazing. Put that on. We're going to finish this just with a little bit of Thai basil. And then we have roasted whitefish with a Zima tomato and wild mushroom fricassee. Bon appetit.